Hi, how are you doing? I'm Ben Lombardi, and we're going to have a lesson on note bins today. Um, you know, I've watched a lot of players, I've watched a lot of beginners, and even some advanced players, you know, don't really bend properly. Um, it's mostly beginners and intermediates. And um, some of the habits I've seen is the fact of more moving the finger like this. More, you know, I've seen people go like this more. <laughs> You know, it's not really about moving the finger. It's more about moving the whole, you know, you got your whole forearm back here. It's like you're pushing it up with the whole hand. Um, and like if I do this real slow, say I want to bend. If you notice, I'm not, I'm not going like this. But you see it's from the back of my hand. Or you can say the forearm. Second thing that's very important is learning how to bend and pitch. Like, let's say, let's say you're aiming for, you're hitting the D, but you're aiming for the E note, okay? You want to make sure that you're bending at that pitch. So here's the pitch you're aiming for. <laughs> the same thing with the vibrato, by the way. Just, you know, I'm doing the up and down motion with the whole hand, the forearm. Okay, it's not like this, but still, here we go. We're going to... That's very important. You know, it's going to really sound bad. Let's say someone's playing a groove here and you're going like this. It's going to sound very flat. It's going to sound awful. And, you know, so you want to make sure that your bend is in tune. No matter where you're playing in key, see. That's the next thing, and the other thing, um, it always helps to get more leverage if you rip around the neck, okay, like your, your hand is here, you're not like down here. Now there are just times when, you know, you got to make adjustments during your playing, but let's say like for example, I'm here like this, my thumb is down here, I get much more leverage and more control of the bend. Um, you know, if you think of it in a way like you're squeezing a ball or something, right? You don't get much strength if you're like this, but if you're grabbing around it, you get much more. So it's the same thing with bends. Um, here the, important, the other important thing is um, to know is half-step bends. Uh, very popular in all kinds of music. Um, I've seen it more in blues. Say you do, let's say for example, you do a nice mellow lick like this. You know, um, basically, I'm, this is the note, the target note that I'm trying to hit, right? So let's say I go half step up, which is flat, if you're playing a chord like this or a seventh chord, so you don't want to hold that bend. But I'm resolving back on the, the D note. Um, if you're playing, let's say, a note that's in pitch for that chord, like a G, you're aiming for a G, then you can hold the bend. The important thing is how it sounds. You could do either one. pitch. It's almost the same effect as if you did a little slide and slide back. It's a little different, but... Okay. Um, okay, so the next step, the next thing to do is, you know, whatever you're trying to do, you want to... first step is practicing the bend. The important thing is your sound when you're playing guitar. The um, thing that people judge in the guitar player is how they sound and, you know, things like that. And then you have all the other things that go with it, like are you playing with feel and everything. So, um, first thing is work on the bend itself. Set a goal. You want to get the sound that you're looking for. Right. The second thing is maybe you want to try it followed by a lick. So you're doing your basic. might want to go 
really slow. I mean, you should go really slow at first. And then you can learn to... You can do the same thing with a half bend. See you later.